Hey YouTube, it's Eldrin here. Welcome to an episode of Pokemon Prism. So we're actually off screen actually grinded up Ash to level 13 as well as Brock to 15. Today we're going to be taking on the first gym. Hello there, I've been waiting for your arrival. Professor Eek has asked me to assist you. I'll give you all the inside info you need. Alright, Joshua has a fire, a fire Pokemon, but you can tell it by the scenery, right? Blazing. War would be a good choice of Pokemon to use here. Rock is also another good choice. If you're going to get burnt too often, try bringing a burn here. Try buying a burn here from the from the mat, which is obviously a reference to Blaine, who said you better bring a burn here when you fought him in the what gym was that now in the seventh gym in the OG games. A kid? Is this a joke? Well, this should be a blast for me. That is. Oh my god, bring it on, bro. We we'll lead up with Lavatar here, just because Lavatar is going to have the type advantage, and we need Lavatar the best we can. Houndour, you got nothing on me, bruh. Let's go and throw Brock in here. Let's go for a rock throw. To be honest, I don't know if this guy's going to be difficult or not. I'm hoping he's not. But that's why we've actually got two Pokemon, which is pretty high level. So if, if it does get out of control, we'll be fine. If you don't know, I am actually grinding my Pokemon pretty high level pretty early on here. You're thinking, oh, we're only at the first gym. Trust me, this game gets difficult. Like, honestly, like, where I am actually in my like, actual save file where I'm, when I'm not recording, I am struggling so much. My Pokemon are literally like so high level and they're still struggling that's why i want to actually get a good start Brock with level 16 and he's actually trying to learn focus energy no you you don't need focus energy brock a jog on mate come on you know you, you don't need that rubbish what, what are you doing and we beat frank improbable uh, hardly mate hardly so that's the first train down how many trainers are you going to be here there's another one hello there hello what's the matter can't handle being around steaming 70 c lava or something it's 70 celsius lava I'm fine, you know. I, I can handle the heat. Can you handle the heat, bruh? Can you handle the heat? Cool trainer Cow wants to fight. He's going to send in a Charmander. Bring it on, bruh. Let's see what you got. Get in there, Brock. Come on. Let's go for a rock throw. You're going down, man. You're going down, Brock. Going down. Okay, one shot. Yeah. Charmanders are pretty weak, especially to rock types. That's why I went for it. Get in there. And what else do you have here? You have a Ponyta. Boom, bam. I'm fine with that. You know, that's going to go down just as easy. You know, one one rock throw, dead. Ember, oh my god, wait. A Ponyta is faster than us? I'm surprised about that. Obviously, uh, Rapidash is a fast Pokemon, but Ponyta is actually pretty slow. I'm surprised. Like, I am super, super surprised that the Ponyta was actually faster than us there. But it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we won. We beat Cool Trainer Carl. Gar. GG, Carl. GG. That's obviously where the trainer is. It reminds me a lot like, um, what's her name now? Her from the, the, the third generation, fourth gym. F Flaria? I can't remember her name. Sup? It's, it's Josha. Is that how you pronounce it? Josha? Yo, dog. I'm not going to make it easy for you. Let's battle. Let, 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 let's, let's make this battle erupt. Come on then, Josha. Oh my god. Cool anima battle animation. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hi, pipe, pipe. Okay, bring it on now. Bring it on. And Josha wants to fight. He's going to send in Charmander. What level are you? Level 10. Okay. We have got quite a few levels on this guy because we did grind, like I said, but trust me. We will need these levels later on. So it is it is needed, I guess. One shot, get in there, boys. That's how you do it. And uh, 138. And what else do you have here? You have a Slugma. Another pretty easy Pokemon. Slugma does evolve into... Um, what's it called? That? Makago? When he actually uh, uses a rat fight. I think it's level, level 32, I think. I've actually never caught a Slugma, so I don't actually know that. Which, which I should actually know that because I'm a Pokemon YouTuber. But it's fine, you know, it's fine. And we won. We beat the leader. That was actually pretty pretty easy. You are the bomb. You earn this badge. And we got 1,200 Poké Dollars. And we got the Pyre Badge. Pyre ba the, the Pyre Badge increases the attack power. It also lets you use Flash outside a battle. Now, you thug. Also, take this. TM82, which is none other than. And it is. Yo, so that's called a TM. And it means something. Um, Technical Machine. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Pokemon can learn the moves from... It, and it has limited uses. This TM is Willow Wisp. It has inf it, infl it inflicts a burn on the foe. I couldn't even get that out. By the way, Willow Wisp. It also cuts the attack power of the enemy by half. We will be teaching that to our Cyndaquil. Don't worry, we're going to heal up. But yeah, I, I can't believe how easy that fight was. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult. But as you can see, there is full custom sprites in this game now. There's also custom animation when you get into a battle, and it appears that. TMs have infinite use like they do in the 5th and 6th generations. And probably 7th generation because I haven't played that yet. But yeah, that's, that's nice to know, isn't it? Anyways, let's uh, 
I think we need to head up north now, don't we? I think so. Let's uh, head on up here. So I'm actually looking for some new Pokemon as well. Okay, Route 73. Might as well do some exploration before we actually... Might as well fire some trainers, I guess. How did you do against Joshua? Joshua? I can't say Joshia. Is that pronounced it? Joshia? I don't know. We should actually switch our Pokemon up here as well. Because Bellsprout, it's not a good type in for us, especially against uh, for us, uh, Cyndaquil. Well, not for Cyndaquil, for Brock. So, wait. Oh, yeah, I named it Ash and I. Okay, I, I just remembered. We need to name our Pokemon after the, the, the protagonists of Pokemon, right? Like the old school games it is. So... So that's what I need to remember, you know, I need to remember to do that. Pepe Nick, a cat fainted or whatever. Let's actually put Cyndaquil back in first. Because I want Cyndaquil to actually get some experience. I don't want, I don't want um, our, like, star to actually get too powerful. And to be honest, in this game, I didn't really mention this, but a lot of the evolutions, from what I've noticed, is lowered down. So you're going to get, like, the layer evolutions earlier on, if that makes sense. Think fast. And don't worry, we will be seeing evolutions in this game. I'm planning to get a full team in this game as well, so get ready for that. Bird Keeper Tyrone was an RPG. I'm just saying, I didn't think a Tyrone would be uh, having flying types. I thought Tyrone would be more of a fighting type, but that's just me. And there's Ember, the Pidgey, and this Pidgey should die pretty goddamn fast, or not. Or not. It, it can live too, that's fine, it can live. And I'm just gonna go for a Gust. Let's go for another Ember and see if Ash can actually win this guy. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. And yeah, Ash level 40. So if something happens when Ash gets level 40, you guys will see in a second, but. Uh, Taylor, not a bad Pokemon, not a bad Pokemon. I actually have a lot of trouble with Taylor's in the third generation. I don't know why. Taylor, Taylor's and um, what, what's the other one? The little bug type, C Dot. I have so much trouble with those Pokemon. I don't know why. I just always have. But one thing I love about this game is the fact that someone, someone's actually put in these Pokemon into the game. They've actually created the sprites themselves. I really respect that. We beat Tyro. Yikes! That was well, it wasn't fast enough. And what? Ash is evolving. Yes. Ash does evolve well. Cyndaquil evolves at level 14 into his second form, which is... Guess what it is? It is none other than... Ash evolved into Quilava. Pretty goddamn good Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, it evolved pretty early on. I also want to get some Pokemon here. So let's actually get some Wild Encounters going here. I'm looking for a certain Pokemon here. And Vulpix, it's not needed, but if you do want to get a Fire-type, which I'm not going to lie, guys, you will need to catch a Vulpix or get a Cyndaquil. So... Yeah, I suggest picking that up right here, because then you don't have to backtrack later on. What else does it have here? I'm looking for a certain Pokemon. I know there's a Pokemon here I want. You need a mine to pick to mine. Okay, we found two repels. So, we actually got introduced then to the stats. So, you can buy mining picks from certain uh, vendors and stuff. And when you can interact with walls. And the more you mine, the better rewards you get. I will be doing that throughout the game, don't worry. You must have faith in your Pokemon. Don't worry, I will, I will. But yes, we are looking for a certain Pokemon here. It's nothing really special, but I want to I wanna have... Another Pokemon. I want to get my team early on in this game so we can just like power on through the game with higher and higher levels, you know. And the thing is, I probably won't. When, when I pick a team in Pokemon games, I don't really switch them out. Like a lot of people, like when they get to the post game or the. Oh, it's got. St yeah, it's got. Wait, there is. There's, there's abilities in this game. There isn't there. Wow, Sturdy, man. I hate Sturdy. Oh, man, Sturdy is just the most annoying ability ever. If you've seen my Black and White 2 Let's Play, you would know how much I hate Sturdy. Questioning my decisions now. Well, you just killed yourself, man. You, you just. Let your Pokemon die. Catch an electric Pokemon. Catch an electric and fire Pokemon. So obviously he's linking to something here. And I don't want to give too many spoilers. But we do need both of these Pokemon. We do need an electric type and we do need a fire type in the next few episodes. I don't really want to give too much information about it. But it's nice to have because it, it, it's a cryptic clue. And in Pokemon when, they, when an NPC tells you something it's normally because you need it. And this guy is no exception. He is telling you something for the future. We've already got fire type Pokemon, we've got Cyndaquil, we, we, we know there's Vulpixes here, but what about an electric type? We haven't really encountered any electric types yet. I don't think at least. Have we? Um, Pikachu, I guess, but that wasn't even in the wild, it was a fight we had. So, so no, we haven't. So we need to find an electric type, it looks like, as well as the Pokemon I'm looking for. So uh, I'm pretty sure we can do this. Taylo is fine, you know, let's just uh, keep powering on. Taylo, Taylo isn't too bad, like... I know I said I had a lot of trouble with it back in the day, but like now that we've got Pokemon with actually type advantage, Rock Rock against um, Taylor is just going to destroy him. Well, just watch this, watch this, come on. I'm not bragging here, but oh, that's how we do it. That's how we do it, Brock style. I'm surprised Brock is so slow. I know it's like a um, an actual like Lavatar, and Lavatars are known for being slow, especially in its later evolutions. But still, I thought he would actually be a bit faster than what he is. I'm a bit disappointed in Brock, you know. Brock, why are you letting the team down, bruh? Why are you letting us down? I thought you would be, like, super fast, you know. 
agile as, as hell, man. But no, you're letting the team down. You're letting the team down. 136 experience. And with that, Juggler James was defeated. Heed my warning. It's like he knows. It's like he knows. So there's a cave here. But what I want to do is actually want to go and see if I can find a certain Pokemon. So uh, let's have a look if we can find this Pokemon I want to find. I hope I can. So guys, we have found a Mareep. And I'm not going to use a Mareep, but I, we need an electric type anyway. So I feel like we should catch this Mareep. And wow, that's not a bad shot. To be honest, I might actually use Mareep. I want to use Mareep now I've said that. Like, I wasn't going to catch one, but I do like Mareep. It is a very nice Pokemon. And we can obviously name it Richie, named after the kind of semi-antagonist um, from the series. You know, he was like Ash's rival for a little bit in the Indigo Plateau. And he's probably one of my favorite characters in Pokemon because he's got such a cool backstory. So I think I'm, I am going to use a Mareep. I'm going to name it Richie after the, uh, like I said, the awesome character that, that's Richie. He had a Pokemon called Sparky, which was a Pikachu. Pretty goddamn cool. So let's actually name it Richie. I love Richie, by the way. I, I wish he came back in the later seasons. I know he came back in um, Pokemon Chronicles, but other than that, it, it wasn't really an add-on extra. By, by the way, it's pretty goddamn rare to actually get a Mareep, so I'm happy with that. So let's actually, let's actually look at our Mareep we got here. Okay, Richie, level 8. Okay, nice to have, nice to have. So, so we're actually getting a pretty decent team here. Like, like Brock, awesome Pokemon, especially when it's in his final evolution. So is Ash, and so is Richie, you know. That's, that's going to be our team for, for quite a while, but I think we're going to end it right here. Well, we're going to heal up and then we'll go back to the cave, but what I want to do is I want to actually grind um, Richie up a little bit, because he is a bit underleveled, and we need him for later on in the game, you know, to actually stand a ghost of a chance, because our Pokemon are, like, level 15s. <laughs> He's on level 8, you know, I want to get him up to at least level 12, 13, I think I'm going to aim for 13, and, uh, I think that'll be a good foundation for Richie, you know, just, just, just so I can even stand a chance against the, the, like, the Pokemon in the wild now, because these guys got, like, level 10s and stuff, and Richie is powerful, it's going to be powerful, like, but not right now, but I do think it's about time we actually end off the episode here. So for this video, please go like, I'd really appreciate it, next time we're going to explore this cave, and we're also going to actually level up our Mareep a little bit. Take care, guys, and I shall see you guys next time for more Pokemon Prism. I'll see you guys then. Peace.